And welcome back to another special edition of Trogly's Guitars. Today we have one of the guitars of the week. Les Pauls, one of the more coveted and sought after guitar of the weeks. Not like that three pickup SG single coil thing. Uh, this is not a Gibson branded case, but it's a nice case nonetheless. But the guitar that sleeps inside is much nicer than this case, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Zebra Wood Les Paul Classic. If you're looking for something a little bit out of the ordinary and unique, this is your guitar. This is one you take on stage and people go, holy crap, I've never seen a guitar like that, man. And they'll talk to you about it. So, overall, this guitar was not played very much. However, we just have very few things to discuss on this guitar. Overall, very clean and ready to be made your own. So here it is again. I believe this is a 2008 Les Paul Classic with Zebra Wood, or Zebra Wood, however you want to pronounce it. Alright, headstock, as you can see, pretty clean. You got a few little things that I can probably clean up. Uh, the classic logo, it looks like somebody was trying to wipe that off. And it also looks like the uh, top part right there has been broken off. As well as the a little bit right there. Alright, uh, fretboard. Very nice dark color. Fretware, pretty well non-existent. You might have some light signs of it being played, but nothing too bad. This top, I mean, I love unique Les Pauls. I used to collect 1983 Gibson Spotlight Specials. Those guitars had a, uh, a walnut strip going down the middle, and they had heavily quilted and flamed sides. I used to collect those, so I, I have a real soft spot for these unique Les Pauls. I find the uh, normal sunburst Les Pauls can be a little bit boring. But overall, there's no major nicks or dings here on the top. The other thing I love about this one is it's kind of a, a satin finish. It's a little bit glossier than satin, but you can still feel the uh, wood pores. I love that in a guitar. I love that bare wood feel, but you still have the protection of the wood. Now, we got this from the original owner. He claims he did not play this guitar very much and that that is not uh, playing wear. And feeling it, it does not feel any different from the rest of the guitar. So it's either a defect from the factory or maybe some light finish, like the finish didn't attach there, or it could be play wear. But we want you to be aware of it. If nothing else, it just looks like a cool aging thing you did. Or maybe if you play with your pinky there because that is a common area depending on your style for where to happen but usually it's about right here I had actually ironically one of my spotlight specials had one of those there currently it's set up as a uh, wrap around on the tailpiece and let's take a look at the back of this beauty that's my bad this is a 2007 is when they did the uh, guitar of the week series no headstocks, brakes, cracks, or repairs to worry about on this one. Looks like you got some cool little natural wood there. Looks like you got a, uh, looks like somebody's nail might have caught that, but it's nothing too bad. Now this does have a two-piece back. One is a little bit darker. Once again, you can feel the wood pores, and I, I personally like that. But one of the coolest things of this guitar, it doesn't have binding, but you get to see the zebra wood. I personally find that's the coolest thing ever, especially in the cutaway there. I, I really like that. I wish they would implement that on maybe some other Les Paul sometime. Some type of design in the wood there. Alright, as always, 
If you have any questions, you can contact me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash T-R-O-G-L-Y-S. That's where we can discuss our best available price, as well as answer any questions or concerns you may have. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.